Welcome to this installment of Software Sunday for April 22nd, 2017. And today's episode is probably going to be a pretty quick one because one, I am really tired right now. Uh, I was trying to get some work done and then it wasn't really getting anywhere. Uh, so I decided that'd be a good idea to go ahead and produce another episode of Software Sunday because it's been a really long time since the last episode. Um, and also the second reason that this is going to be quick is because I have finals um, and I should probably start studying again here soon so yeah the next two weeks um of my life are going to be completely dedicated to finals not sure if i'm going to be able to make videos or not um, i'll let you guys know on facebook so today we're going to be taking a look at a tool that is not for windows on all of the past episodes of software sunday um i've mainly just looked at windows specific tools and today we're going to be taking a look at a cli tool uh, that is just for Linux distributions and Mac OS. This is a neat little command line tool that's going to allow you to easily view your system specifications with just one command. Now, the thing is, you could also do this. I'm on uh, Ubuntu 16.04 and uh, on Ubuntu Mate 16.04, uh, I can use the LSHW command. So if I do sudo LSHW and I'm going to go ahead and maximize this terminal just so you guys can get a better view. And I'll type in my password. And what LSHW allows you to do is view pretty much everything about your system. And well, yeah, that's nice. And it's a lot of information. It's a little overwhelming as you can see. So if you just want some basic system specifications, then something like NeoFetch is definitely the way to go. So let's start this over again. Let's not use LSHW and use NeoFetch this time. So I'm just going to maximize this. I already have NeoFetch installed. I'm going to tell you guys how to install NeoFetch in just a second, but I'm going to type in NeoFetch. And as you can see, uh, along with giving you your system specifications neatly laid out, it also gives you a nice little um, text art right next to it of your distro logo. So that is really neat. You can see uh, our system specifications right here. I'm on my ThinkPad T430. Um, it also gives you uptime, which is a uh, really um, nice indicator, screen resolution, um, themes. You can see my processor right here and then my eight gigabytes of RAM. So um, as you guys can clearly see, that's a lot easier to take in than all the information from the LSHW command. Um, with LSHW, you're getting like hundreds of lines. With this, you're just getting the basic stuff that actually matters to most people. This is a really simple tool, really easy to use, but I feel like it's something that a lot of people actually need. Just an easy way to throw up system specifications on the command line. Now, some of you are probably wondering where in the world you can get this, and you can get this from their GitHub page. Um, I went online to see if they had a dedicated website, and I couldn't find anything, so right now we are just stuck with the GitHub page, and I make it sound like that's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, because there's actually a lot of good documentation here, um, and I will put the link to the GitHub page down in the description, so you guys can easily find and install NeoFetch. So if I scroll down here, you can see all that documentation I was talking about. Lots of good install information. We have uh, install instructions for all of your main um, Linux distributions and of course Mac OS, as I said earlier. Um, all the way at the bottom, you will find the uh, Ubuntu uh, installation instructions. We have Debian uh, installation instructions right here. Fedora insta installation instructions. See, I just keep scrolling and the um, distros just keep coming. So um, if you're looking to install NeoFetch, this is the place to go. It was a really easy install process. Um, it took me, I think, three commands, sudo app get update, add the repository, and then sudo apt get or sudo apt install NeoFetch. And if I scroll down, you can see the uh, actual uh, Ubuntu 16.10 uh, uh, installation instructions right here. I'm on 16.04, so these are my installation instructions. Uh, if you're on 17.04 and up, your steps are going to be a little bit different. And that's why I'm not walking you guys through the installation instructions right now, because it's a little bit different for each distro. And that's NeoFetch, a simple CLI tool that will allow you to neatly and easily display your basic system specifications. That's going to be about it for this episode of Software Sunday. I saw this tool everywhere when I was on uh, Linux forums and Linux blogs, but I didn't actually know what it was called. 
And it wasn't until a couple days ago that a buddy of mine actually messaged me on Facebook and sent me the link to it. And I was so um, excited. You know, I kind of shot him down. I was like, ah, LSHW can totally show you more system specifications. And I don't understand why you would need something like NeoFetch. But after I thought about it for a bit, I was like, well, with LSHW, I don't want to sort through all that garbage just to find the system specifications I actually want to see. So something like NeoFetch really does make sense. It, it neatly lays out the system information. As I said earlier, it's right here, right in front of you. Uh, and you don't have to go combing through all of those lines and lines and lines that LSHW gives you. So uh, really liking NeoFetch, I really like to tech start too. That looks really cool. Um, so once again, guys, that's gonna be it for this installment of Software Sunday. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now, some of you guys have probably been noticing some weird stuff going on with video quality. And that's because I've just started messing with OBS. I'm about to go live in, I believe, two weeks. Um, and I'm trying to uh, actually use OBS to familiarize, familiarize myself with it. Oh, I'm starting to lose it now. It's getting late, guys. Um, yeah, so we will be going live in two weeks. And I just want to uh, give OBS a try. And I was having some uh, issues earlier with video quality. So uh, that's why it looked a little pixelated earlier. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.